Hey everybody, Adam here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a little pissed off. It's like, how the fuck are you supposed to make money on YouTube? If people make money on YouTube, I'm making the best fucking show on earth. Why the fuck am I not making any fucking money? It's really starting to piss me off, being completely honest. So, okay, now I got that out of my system. I'm feeling a little, a little better now. So, thanks for not judging my life. So where I'm at, I'm pretty sure I'm considering doubling down on shorts. Um, Cause I need to spend more time figuring out how to monetize my channel. You know, it's, I'm like starting to like get like a little depressed about it, you know? Um, but yeah, I know it's persistence. I'm saying persistent. I got to say persistent. And you know, I get something I haven't done in the past. You know, I grind up like something like super hard on something for like a month. And then I don't see any results. And I'm like, I get really pissed because it's like, there's absolutely no possible way. You know, so I got, I don't know, man. So, back to my show. More questions. Okay. Uh, all right. The first question. Can you tell us any more hold on, about your first business, Save Energy Lighting LLC? Yes, I can. Okay, so... Like I said, it was a startup, you know, and I feel any successful startup, you need a team. Um, and they talk about that and, you know, in Napoleon Hills, you know, two or more people mastermind, you know, you can't, it's, it's hard to do shit successfully yourself, you know, um, they talk about being a solo, solopreneur. And if that was possible, I feel like I would have done that. Um, but I'm just not convinced unless somebody like puts you on secretly and like makes you feel like you're a solopreneur or something, you know, um. So, yeah, um, anyways, my first business, you know, so I started out as putting a team together, you know, uh, hiring like sales managers out the gate, you know, like South Florida, um, and Alabama, you know, non-competes, you know, doing our thing, you know, working some big deals. Um, yeah, and kind of fell off, like I told you guys, um, but I feel like if, uh, it, ha it had, it had potential, I'll say that it had definitely had potential, um. But, you know, a lot of shit has potential, but it's about pulling it off. You know, it's not about what has potential. It's about, it's about closing, you know? Um, so that's what it is, you know? Okay. So the next thing we're going to talk about, um, I guess we'll get into some closing tactics. Okay. Um, I've worked with certain salespeople in commercial sales and residential sales. And their closing tactic is to stay in your house or in your office until you sign the contract, you know? And I fucking hate people that do that, you know? Um, and I'll say this goes for not just in business, but I think it goes in life as well, you know? Like, leave on a good note and leave them wanting more, you know? That's what I've always done in the past and had extreme success doing that. You know, so it's whether you're working a deal or you get invited to like a badass beach house or something or like the Hamptons or something, you know, with like a cool group of people, you know, you don't want to overstay your welcome. You want to leave on a good note and be the kind of person that they want to invite next time, you know. So that's kind of my advice on closing tactics. Um, yeah, so don't overstay your welcome, you know, like and be a good guest. I'll say that because like that's what you are is you're a guest in their house, you're a guest in their office, you know. Um, so don't just like refuse to leave, you know, I think that's like kind of like criminal. So, so next question, that's a pretty cool class action play you thought of Mr. Value Add. Do you have any other ones? Yeah, I do actually, you know, I told you I'm not a big fan of Pensacola, you know, I'm just my hometown. Um, and I've told you all my take on pornography. Also, I think it turns people gay, you know, like for me, it was like, you know, Lesbian porn, then freaking female domination and FJs and face sitting then to the cuckold sessions. <laughs> and uh, my take on that is, is you know, I think if, if it doesn't turn people gay, then I think it still has a traumatic effect on people's mental health. I think it makes them not want to go find a partner because it's so easy just to get on Pornhub or whatever. And Pornhub and those companies, they're like, literally, they do like billions of dollars in revenue every year. Like billions, like billions. 
And I tried to reach out to this law firm in Pensacola about running a class action lawsuit against these companies for having such, like, you know, play, like having such a negative mental health, like effect on people's mental health, you know, it's like, so then like, you know, I feel like that would benefit a lot of people, you know, like if you think porn's had a negative impact on your life, you know, it wouldn't get you rich per se, but you know, it could help you out financially. And I think that would be a good way to help people out, you know, and, and I, I don't think pornography is like a real ethical business, I guess, you know, um, so yeah, I thought that would be pretty cool if we went class action against Pornhub and those other like cuz they got like rat holes and they got, they do like like 4 billion like a year, you know. Like that's a shit ton of money and just to watch people have sex like that's pretty crazy. So, yeah, and then the next thing is uh you know, how am I not going viral with this stuff? And the next thing is do you have any other power plays you want to tell us about? I guess I can tell you guys about a 21 play I ran one time. Uh, and that's one thing, too. It's depending on, like, where you are ge ge like geographically. Like, say if I went to New York and I was selling, man, I would freaking turn on my freaking country act, like, my southern charm, you know? Because a lot of times people are like, you're like, this guy's fucking stupid, you know? He needs all the help he can get. Yeah, we're going to do business with a guy. Look how low his prices are, you know? So, that you know, it depends on where you're at, you know, with a lot of things. So, anyways, 21 play, I'll say. Uh, when I was working in Tallahassee this one time, I hired these attorneys to do a uh, class action lawsuit. Um... That I was a part of, and they told me when I was living in Tallahassee, they were like, yeah, man, we're going to get you $80,000. So I was like, dude, boom, awesome. Like, you guys rock. And uh, so then that shit happened to me where I had to, you know, I got screwed out of that money and had to move back into Pensacola. And when I moved back to Pensacola, they called me up one day, and they were like, hey, man, we told you uh, 80000 but it turns out we can only get you uh, 6700 and I was like, 6700 I thought you said 80000 And they're like, yeah, well, we're some bullshit. We're lawyers and we're fucking smarter than you. So, uh, yeah, it's only 6700 So I researched the, the case, you know, and they were trying to fuck me. They were trying to fuck me out of my money, you know, that was rightfully entitled to me. So what I did is uh, turn, put on the old skinny jeans, put on the Ray-Bans, a little plaid button down, and a little freaking hat that I was wearing. And I went to their office and... Uh, they like sold me. They're like, yeah, sixty seven hundred. It's pretty good deal for you, yeah. And uh, so I was like, all right, yeah. Um, so I signed the contract, and then uh, I was leaving. I was like, oh, hey, and you mind if I get a copy of that contract that I just signed? And uh, they're like, oh yeah, no problem. You know, like it's the biggest win of their lives. I could tell. And uh, yeah, so I went home, and then I freaking uh, sued their ass for legal malpractice. For $17.5 million in their office building that I wanted to donate to the school I graduated from. And, uh, yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool 21 play. You know, played a sucker and came in and went after him. And, uh, you might want, uh, you know, it's still, uh, the case is kind of fucked up. You know, Pensacola here, they had about five judges on the case, you know, because they were like, oh, we don't want any part of this. This is extremely unethical um, on their part. So, yeah, that happened. It was a 21 play, so we're going to have to go to federal court with it. So, But i got to find a team first because, uh, like I said, I'm not a lawyer. But, uh, yeah, i got to find some teams. i got to find some people to help me out with some stuff. But, you know, i got a pretty fat pipeline, some deals, you know, between my books and my YouTube channel and my lawsuits that I've come up with. So all I really need is just, like, someone with, like, a law license and, uh, yeah, because, you know, I think it should go to federal court because uh, it was a class action lawsuit, you know. And any class action lawsuit over $5 million is supposed to be handled by the federal courts anyways. So, I don't know what the fuck Escambia County was doing running that case anyways. So, and there was, like, law firms in, like, other states, too. Like, Mississippi, Birmingham made enemies with those assholes, too. So, so yeah, well, I appreciate you guys tuning in today. Tomorrow, I'll probably talk about why tax credits are such a horrible idea. And thank you for tuning in today. And remember that I love you and that you can be what you will to be.